So I just saw LS's tier list, and I can't speak to any of the other roles, but I don't think the support champs are right. So I figured I'd make my own tier list with, I mean, well, it doesn't have cocaine or hookers or anything, but I think I'm a pretty good person to make a tier list since I don't claim to be, like, an incredibly talented player or anything, but I think I have a pretty good sense of how support champions are strong. So I guess I'll just go tier by tier. So for the S tier, I think Sona, I made a longer Sona sales pitch that I'll link in the description, but the short version is win rate, art and sensor, scalings, uh, like she can just win team fights just by staying alive. Uh, most of the common supports are good matchups, and she's pretty simple and easy to learn. Now the two meta supports that counter Sona are Thresh and Blitz. I think Thresh is good, but it might just be too hard to get a decent skill level on him. So I'm going to recommend Blitz instead, since he's simpler mechanically. And I also think Blitz is pretty good right now because he has a lot of pressure on the squishy ranged meta champs, which makes him A tier. For the other A tier champ, I'm going to say Lulu. She did get nerfed recently, but hopefully she isn't that much worse. Um, she's been the most highly valued support for a reason. It's because she brings pretty much everything. She can bully in lane, she brings a lot of single target peel, so yeah, she's pretty good. Moving on to B tier, these champs aren't bad, just because they're B tier, they're still pretty good. Um, I think Karma is pretty solid and versatile. Uh, Brahm is also decent, you just rely a lot on getting ganks. Um, Soraka and Janna are also both pretty good, but they have very specific playstyles, which isn't necessarily bad, uh, because what they do is so one-dimensional, that makes them pretty easy to learn. And now for C tier, these champs aren't necessarily unplayable, but I wouldn't recommend them. So, for example, Thresh can be really good, Bard might be pretty good too. I just wouldn't recommend learning them because it's more efficient to put your effort into other champs. Or like Nami is easy to win lane with, but it's hard to reliably do much on her afterwards. Uh, mage supports can also be good, but if you pick one, it's on you to stomp your lane because... If you don't, you won't contribute as much as other supports. Um, I'm also putting Tarek and Tom and Alistar in here because they can situationally do a ton, but are often relatively useless, especially in lane. Um, so that's about it. I should note that I decided not to place Rakan and Morgana because I wasn't sure where they should go, but I still wouldn't recommend them. And apart from that, if it's not even a C tier champ, then most likely it's pretty bad. But, I mean, the main thing is that you enjoy and are good at the champ you're playing. Like, if you hate an A tier support but love a C tier one, go ahead and play it. I mean, in fact, even if it's not on the list, like, let's say you really enjoy, like, Zillion or something, then you can make that work at almost any tier of play, and it's way better to pay, play a champ that you're comfortable on, even if it isn't, like, the theoretical best pick.